The railway companies of the United Kingdom all had a reputation for doing their own thing and having a special character. Never was this more true than on the Great Western Railway, which served London, the West Country, Wales and parts of the Midlands. Hi YouTube modellers, this is a super quick review of the Daypole OO Gauge Great Western Streamlined Diesel Railcar number 8 in lined chocolate and cream with twin city crests. Catalogue number 4D011004. we will delve deeper into the history of these attractive rail cars and compare with a much earlier Lima offering from the 80s. Daypole have done a lovely job in my opinion and have produced a model every bit as sleek as the real thing. As one of my regular commenters observed, it oozes 1930s atmosphere. Running is super smooth right from the box. There is interior lighting that looks really nice, especially in darker conditions. The tail light is of sensible brightness, as are the three front lights. Glazing is really nice and fine. Probably the model could do with some passengers added, and maybe even a driver, but that's a project for the future. Harvey Rail Motors Limited, a subsidiary of AEC, originally conceived these rail cars. They had 130 brake horsepower six cylinder AEC diesel engines that were used in London buses. Drive was passed to a five speed pre selected gearbox with a fluid flywheel to drive a pair of axles on one side of the rail car's bogey. This was rail car number one in 1933. In 1935, the Great Western placed an order with AEC for 10 more railcars. These had two AEC 8.85 litre diesel engines, raising the maximum speed to 80 miles an hour. The Daypole model is of a 1936 version, which had two of these 121 brake horsepower engines and 70 seat capacity. These railcars had bodies built by the Gloucester Railway Carriage and Wagon Company. The rail cars were intended to supplement the existing steam traffic. It was shown that the rail cars could transform a previously loss making branch line and yet had the ability to work on the fast mainline stopping services when required. In 1938, the Great Western ordered more rail cars, but this time the Great Western were producing the underframes, bogies, brake gear, and bodies, and AEC were supplying the engines and transmission for construction at Swindon. Delivered in 1940, number 22, seen here by Lima, and having arrived with me in 1984, was one of these rail cars and was intended just for branch line work. These Swindon built rail cars had a very different appearance with a body that used straight lines and flat panels. 
They had two larger 9.25 litre AEC engines but were of a reduced output of 105 brake horsepower and a reduced seating capacity of just 48. However, the interior still featured polished wood surfaces and other nice touches. The Lima model runs very well indeed, despite its 34 years of use. In general, these railcars soldiered on until the early 60s when they were replaced by more modern DMUs. Some were even converted into parcel units. <laughs> 